What is going on guys, it's your boy Gaming Nacho here today and welcome to another commentary. So basically I tried to record this once and I got all the way to the end of this like 8 minute video. And then I realised that my mic was muted and I had to redo it, that's what I'm doing right now. And basically uh, this is going to be my new series, well I don't know, it's going to be um, Call of Duty News, Call of Duty Intel, not sure. Something like that and it's going to be where I talk all about Call of Duty and this is going to be the first episode. There's going to be a lot to talk about and this is going to be a big episode due to how much I have missed and haven't done and talked about. And in the background you can see me playing some uh, esports, search and destroy rules, against some noobs, using my sniper, trying to get some nice kills down and make, trying to get my shot on for GBs later on. So basically, uh, if we talk about some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, if you're not sure what that is, that's the next Call of Duty coming out in 2014. Oh, sorry for that. Basically, it's uh, done by Sledgehammer Games, everyone knows this already, it's a three year rotation now between Treyarch, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games. Job, and Get basically they're all going to create different round. games and uh, from what I think they're going to do, I think Treyarch are going to do past, Infinity Ward are going to do modern, and uh, Sledgehammers are going to do future. That's what I see, uh, that's what I see them doing. Yeah. Basically, everything I'm talking about now, you can see on charlieintel.com. Some will be from my own head, maybe, if I can. But the links in the description below will be for all of everything if you want to read what I'm talking about. If I'm talking too fast, if I'm talking too slow, you can just go in the description below now. But if you do go, do go subscribe and like. And peace, I guess, if you're now leaving. See you later, goodbye. Adios. So basically, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Slow Chamber Games built on a new engine. Basically that means they've stripped, there's no strip down of a game, they have still built from the beginning to end. As if you look at Call of Duty Ghosts, that is built off Modern Warfare 3. They all have their little engines, what they build off. So uh, the last three years I think it's been Infinity Ward's engine. So basically they've uh, used the Infinity Ward's player characters, audio and everything to upgrade. But in this new three year cycle, in, uh, Sledgehammer have been able to build their own game from fresh. And it's going to be on their own engine, it's going to be completely different apparently. Uh, yeah, so basically, uh, no, the main thing uh, I saw is that, uh, PlayStation 4, I just said PlayStation and my PlayStation picked up, oh my god, um, PlayStation 4, well, uh, and Xbox One will have their own Call of Duty Advanced Warfare as PS3 and Xbox 360, they've got a different developer making it for them. And also there is some some sort of co-op co mode in Sledgehammer Advanced Warfare. Um, we're not sure what that is. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's something like zombies or uh, extinction. I think it's going to be pretty hard for them to do something like that as well due to um, zombies and extinction. Some people love extinction. Some people love zombies. Personally, I love zombies. I don't know why. It's just always love zombies from COD. It's COD 5. I preferred the COD 5 than Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is like do 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 too much. I prefer going back to like die rise. Just doing that, man, that was fun. Just taking a strip. Damn. Zip. My drink. So, um, job, uh, Call of the, the trailer one. was only 900p and that was caught recorded on the Xbox One. That's bad. Bad for Xbox One users. Like, you want the highest quality game you can, and that was a trailer. They always do trailers in the best quality they can. So is 900p the only quality they're going to be able to make the Xbox One go to? And that's what I'm seeing, is PlayStation 4 going to have a better quality due to their hardware and stuff? Is that what's going to happen? Is Xbox people going to get angry at that? Technically it should have a better system due to it being built on that system. Yeah, as DLCs... Go, uh, they get DLC early, we don't know if it's a uh, month again or just a week or something yet. This DLC is early. 
So why isn't the quality better? That makes no sense to me, being no quality good, like, I think they make the best they can. Uh, let's move on, what else we got, um... No cutscenes between campaign, you know, on Call of Duty Ghost you got the little, like, broken glass sort of thing and it would lay down and be like, ghosts. He'd call them ghosts and then there'll be the guys, like, laying and there'll be, like, blood splatter on their face and, yeah, all like that. There's no more of them. Apparently the story builds itself inside the game, that's, that's pretty cool, I think. Uh, players will play as Private Mitchell in Bard's Warfare's campaign, voiced by Troy Parker. Baker? Baker, sorry about that. Hmm. Troy job, Baker. Never heard round. of him. Don't really care. And they sound like players. Um, apparently they are bringing s changing multiplayer up completely. Bring some big experiments to the core mechanics that will affect multiplayer. Because it's a next gen, I think if there's nothing they don't like, bang, it's gone straight away. Because they can take it out like that, just because they know what they're doing. Um, I think the they might have something like wall climbing gloves. So you know you can go up ladders, climb up walls rather than ladders. There'll only be certain walls. You haven't got a gun at a time either, so it doesn't really change the game much. just looks cooler. Mm. Uh, if you saw the trailer, it shows all like hover bike stuff, because it's in 2057, I believe, and it's actually meant to be that far ahead, so that's what they've actually guessing what's going to happen back then. And also, uh, Black Ops 2 was only 2025, 20, yeah. So, that's a big step ahead of that, and it'll be, should be completely different. If you saw from the trailer, like, there was really fucked up shit in there. Some stuff that looked cool, some stuff that didn't look cool. Stuff we don't want in multiplayer. Stuff they won't add to multiplayer. But, that's what we get. And Kevin Spacely is the, uh, Seems like to be the main villain who controls this, or he might be our leader. I'm not sure. One or the other. If you pre-order Call of Duty Ghost from Game or, or GameStop, and you get a PlayStation pack for Black Ops 2 and Ghost, camo is not that cool to be honest. If it is a, ca I think yeah, it's just a camo, and uh, it's not that much. It's not really worth pre-ordering it now anyway. You want to see if there's some sort of good bundle and hardened edition or something. Um, he also explained how the three year development works now. Basically it gives them some time to like practice and stuff. As two years they had to rush everything um, to get to rush everything to get it done, such as like they couldn't like test stuff. They had like a day to test something where they could have a couple of days to test it and if it doesn't work they can't just scrap it. They can now work on it to make it better rather than scrap it and have to just get rid of it straight away because it doesn't work. Hmm, what else have we got to talk about? What I don't want in campaign is the uh, boost boots. Like I don't want to jump high. If we have to jump high in campaign, I'm gonna hate that. That's just. I mean, in uh, multiplayer, this is gonna be such a dick. Like these windows here, you don't want someone to just jump straight into them and fuck you over. So yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe and like. I hope you like this episode. It's the first episode. The other episode will be short. They'll be like two, three minutes long. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Peace.